Siege has ordered me to serve as your assistant. I'll be a harsh supervisor for you, if it's called for. Huh? Do you have a problem with my metal claws? They're totally brill! I mean, they're very... wieldly. Please don't get the wrong idea about my taste. Morgan picked this outfit. Obviously, something with a knightly air would definitely suit me more. Although this street style is just a little bit wicked. Indra's a mess, both the way she lives and fights. That said, she'll go through hell and high water for her mates, and she'll fight to her last breath for siege. Maybe she's more knight than some knights out there. And she's never even had to try. Most of Victoria's people live out their whole lives in their own cities. While everyone aboard Rhodes Island has left their homes to drift around this land. It just bowls me over. The Montague name and the title of Knights of the Tower used to be more precious to me than anything. But gradually, I came to see how change for Victoria was unavoidable. And it doesn't just stem from the flames of war before us. I may have to abandon my past to follow Siege. But I'll follow through. And to the very end. Bound to uphold Victoria's dignity. The Knights of the Tower never once shrank back in the face of the Sarkaz's blades. I was the only one who escaped. Protected by my brothers and sisters in arms. I often think to myself... If, just if, I could have fought to the end with them. Siege said I should choose the life I truly want to live when the war is over. Once that day arrives, how will Victoria turn out to be? And how will I turn out to be? I... I can't imagine it. All I hope is I'm still able to stay by their sides. Doctor... From here onwards, my blade belongs to both Victoria and you. You can call me either Dagda or the Dark Blade. Isa! T too frivolous! But if you've got two, then keep your voice down. It's a Knight of the Tower's duty to stand Night Watch. May you rest well, Doctor. Knight of the Tower, Isabella Montague. On behalf of Siege and our little alliance, I express our sincerest gratitude. What do you mean I don't dress like a knight? Look, looks can be bloody deceiving! Hmm. I'm seeing a wide gap between these tactics and my old training. A medal? I can't accept any that's not Victorian. Hmm. But you are the doctor of Rhodes Island. Okay, I'm making an exception just this once. Ever since we left Londinium, I've trained up in a million more techniques than just nightly combat. Now you're going to see my true strength. I've got no need to hide my identity if I'm fighting for Rhodes Island, yeah? What style of command do you want from me? The knight type or the gang type? A fight? Wicked, bring it on! <clears throat> As a knight of the tower, I accept your challenge. These punks are nothing compared to the foes Victoria surmounted. Is this an order? I await your word. To the death I go. As you bid. Forward, back, forward. Got ya! For Victoria! Even without a blade, I can run you through. Any soldier's will is worthy of respect. Be a firm enough conviction. And it won't matter what difficulties you face. You'll have nothing to be afraid of. Is that it? I didn't get to show off my real skills yet. If there is a next time, permit I continue to stand by your side. You can't reach perfection without pushing yourself to the limit. I must do better. If only I had a blade on me, I could... No! I can't give up now. Doctor, I'm ready to enter the next battle. I'll assume guard duties for this room. Where do you need me? 
Stop calling me Isa. Arknight 